this from yours? Yeah, yours is upstairs. Up. Ducky! Poor duckies! Um, well, it's another chilly day, uh, start to the day, but it's gonna warm up quick. Chad's messing up all kinds of stuff. stuff. But, um, I think the bite's gonna be good as you saw on the Friday fishing forecast. I think it's gonna be really good. Can't catch them if you're on the couch. Fish more, catch more, as Chad's saying. <clears throat> but as you see, we're wearing our new, our new um, face mask. So if you're interested in getting one, you can go on our website and grab one. Look at those poor little doggies flying. Luckily, they're not in the shooting zone, but God, what a beautiful morning. Are you excited, Chad? I'm excited! Where's your pimp? I forgot it! It's my wife's fault, it's Washington. Oh. Blame it on the wife. Kathy, you hear that, right? Yep. It's does she fault. watch these shows? No. Not at all. <laughs> she says she does, but. Yeah. No. I guess I'm going with one glove today. I can't find the other Holy. one. Holy. Well, short stuff. Let me get it for you. I thought I had it. I did. Chad, Chad's got TX arms, arms so. <laughs> That's right. But they can reel up some grouper. <laughs> All right, we're off, folks. We're going to do it. All right, what we're doing. I've got the boat in reverse because the wind and the tide are the wind's coming this way the tide's going this way so I've got the boat in reverse the tide is barely moving so I've got it reversed to create a false current and we're marking a ton of bait Chad's doing is throwing it into the crop wash. It, it kicks it out. Is it already up? Yeah. It kicks it out and then it shoots this way. Oh yeah. All right, time to go catch bait. Okay. It's been a pretty slow day. A lot slower than I was. Imagining it was going to be um, But I was telling Chad we finally found some action I was telling Chad that even though right now we're we're going we're catching some small fish I just caught one that was like 22. I think if we waited out through this minor We're gonna get into a situation where we may have the big ones push in. I'm gonna have Chad Talk about a technique that we use So one of the things we do is especially in current trying to stand still when we drop the jig back, the current will actually lift the weight of the jig and the bait up. So if you just stand here and hold your rod still, that jig head actually lifts off the bottom, okay? So then what we usually do is after we sit down for a few minutes and don't get a bite, we'll lift the rod, which lifts the jig even higher, and then open our bale and give it three or four feet of line. What this does is allow that jig to hop backwards and get reestablished on the bottom again. And normally, go ahead and eat them. Come on, normally, eat them. This is when they <laughs> whack them. Um, so again, if you sit there for a couple minutes, oh, you did oh, get oh. oh, come on, oh. man. What did we say? <laughs> Chad sucks. <laughs> yeah. I put you on the. I put you on the spot. It's that camera, it's bad luck. <laughs> but no, that's a technique that we like to use is when the tide's running, it's barely running right now. It's it's a slow tide today, but um, but it's uh, that's a technique that we like to use. Wasn't on. I didn't hit the record. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Nice one. 
that sun popped out and those fish started eating. Yep, the moment that sun came out, Good that one, pinner sir. just got walloped. Well, folks, we got tired of struggling on the group bike today. So we came in shore and immediately doubled up. Chad's about to get all oh, come on, Chad. What we've got, there's an oyster bed that runs out this way here, and it drops off into about two feet out this way. You can see the, the fish busting. So it drops off, so on a, on a low tide, these fish come right out. There's another one that busted right there. They come out and drop into this drop-off right here, and it can get absolutely stupid in here. Another one boil over there. I know. Life of me. Oop, there, it got hit. Oh, he's huge. Rod <laughs> down for that. <laughs> trout, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, well, we got a boat slam. I caught a little red trout. We're busting all over the place. Bad little trout. What Chad neglected to tell me was he was hooking his bait in the stomach, just like that. Yeah. Catch. And you catch, catch his oysters. Oysters. out of line. <laughs> well, I wanted to do a giveaway update. Uh, right now, we're sitting at 7,550 subscribers. So, we're about 450 subscribers off of 8,000. And when we hit that 8,000 mark, 
we are going to do the first drawing of the person that's going to go fishing with us. Uh, the, the channel has been growing. Unfortunately, YouTube just has been deleting some old accounts that nobody's using anymore. So we lost uh, like five or six uh, the other day, but not too many. So that shows me that we've got good current sub subscribers and everything's working out well. So if you haven't signed up for it, make sure you go to TampaBayFishingChannel.com and sign up for it. The sign up page is right on the front page. Um, <clears throat> right now we have well over 500 people that are signed up for it, so that's a little nuts. But I'm looking forward to picking that first person to go fishing with us. And uh, as you saw, we struggled a little bit on the grouper, but did really well on the snook. And I hope some of that, some of the things that I talked about inshore and doing the grouper fishing uh, will help increase your catches. So again, thank you for the support. We, we really appreciate it. The, uh, we had numerous orders of the bait cutter. So if you're interested in that, that's on our website too. Our fluorocarbon should be in within, hopefully by the end of this week. So we'll have plenty of fluorocarbon ready to go and hopefully fingers crossed our braid will be here by the end of this month so or the beginning of next year but thanks again for all the support we really really appreciate it again um, if you guys have any questions comments anything like that please let us know if you have an idea of what you want to see on a show also let us know because I want to start kind of branching out a little bit more. We're going to do some more inshore fishing and things like that. So I just want to branch out a little bit more. We might even be bringing in uh, hooks for inshore fishing for live baiting. So we're working on a lot of different things. And uh, we have some exciting news coming up. We have a new sponsor for the show. So some things that are going to be happening before the end of this year and I'm really excited about it. I'm excited about working with this company. So. Again, thank you everybody for the support. We really, really appreciate it.